Hello everyone. This is Amy, I am a certified trainer in CyberArk. In this video, we will discuss all the topics related to CyberArk. Throughout my experience learning and teaching about this topic, I have collected some of the basic and frequently asked questions, and I will discuss all of the answers in this video. I will briefly tell you about all the topics I will cover in this video. What is PAM? What is CyberArk? How does CyberArk function? What is CyberArk's most crucial component? What are privileged identities? What is a privileged session manager? What is central policy manager? What is the application identity manager? What is CyberArk's privileged account security solution? What is CyberArk EPV? What are the features of CyberArk? What are the benefits of CyberArk? Let's begin this video by knowing about CyberArk briefly, by providing privileged account protection, CyberArk is the most satisfactory solution for protecting your data or monitoring user access. What is PAM? PAM stands for Privileged Access Management, and it is used to protect privileged identities. Privileged identities are anything that has access to sensitive information. For example, if you are working in a Windows domain, database administration, or network administration, you may have limited credentials such as a domain administrator. If you manage network devices, you may want to enable Cisco. As a result, there is a reasonable probability that you are using a very weak password or a simple password to access the devices. Functions of CyberArk there is no need to enter this type of primary text password or circumvent such security levels in PAM solutions. You can log in, authenticate using multi-factor authentication, choose a device and log in remotely. So the primary goal of any PAM solution should be to avoid using plain text password authentication. As a result, CyberArk includes a PSM component that handles such eventualities. This will be covered in greater depth later in this topic. If you work in a team that supports Windows solutions, or if you keep a Unix or database, you will have a standard ID with a password that is shared by all of your colleagues. So it's not an intelligent practice because if someone leaves, and the password is breached, it might bring severe damage to your firm. So basically, PAM looks after shared passwords after the emergency bar called disaster recovery. So if the person is done with the shift, we can give a hand over to the next fellow when it comes to the application accounts. Or maybe if you're doing some patching work, you're doing some configuration changes that require more than 24 hours of the window. In such cases, we need shared credentials. So application accounts are something like if you have some automation task running or RP process running, remote process automation wherein a service account is being used to achieve something like robocopy migration or service restart stop or status. Perhaps monitoring certain OS level things like drive or CPU utilization and memory utilization if you want to have it reboot daily. So, to be successful, you'll need a batch script, a job, task scheduler, You'll also need the credentials contained in writing. So the credentials that are so deeply ingrained in a script have a plain text value, which may be compromised if a third-party intruder gains access. So, he can get his hands on your credentials, update the code, steal your credentials, do unnecessary automation, or change the database in your environment. These are the three points for which the PAM solution is required. The first is a personal account, while the second is a joint account. The application account is the following step. So, to recap, we have a PAM solution called CyberArk since the repercussions of such intrusions are that the majority of these accounts are the most powerful in the business. We also used a password that was reasonably easy to guess. Because we are not accustomed to just getting the password now and then, access to sensitive information is changed. So, to address all of these issues, we'd need a CRM solution called CyberArk, which is the market's leading tool, there are many components that CyberArk has to offer. As a result, each component serves a unique purpose. It essentially covers a variety of simple use cases. This is only a tiny sample of the features available. Nowadays, 
Many components are included that are not only designed for privileged access management but also to reduce loss in some solution, or maybe any solution, and some behavioral analytics. So that's something we'll talk about, and it'll be in the deck as well. So, what is CyberArk's most crucial component? The EPV, or Enterprise Password Vault, is the first. CyberArk's Enterprise Password Vault is the first and most crucial component. So, whatever onboarding you're doing, for example, whatever integrations you're doing, you're conducting onboarding, and an action resulting from the EPV. It's essentially Windows Server, which offers all of these capabilities, or security levels, with solid encryption. As a result, any time you create an account, it is immediately encrypted and assigned a private key and a public key. So there's no way to compromise the credentials, even if you're an administrator, you won't be able to view them. It also encrypts the session, if someone is done with the session, they're doing a target system, let's check if I'm through with activity on a target system. That session has been logged off, and it will be uploaded to the vault and encrypted as well. So, even if you're an administrator, you'll be able to view what happened throughout that login session. So there are a lot of methods that CyberArk supports authentication like Key Authentication Oracle, so Source Authentication, Multi-Factor Authentication, Opta Authentication, Secure DAP Authentication for SAML Authentication, I mean there is a lot of scope of authentication maybe you can have multiple authentications to avoid any credential theft and get into the CyberArk, there are a lot of out of the box up supported authentications available in the CyberArk and Saw. As a result, the EPV assumes control of the local server firewall whenever it is installed. So, shifting the traffic to the firewall is out of the question. Even if you're an administrator, you won't be able to change traffic or add any form of in- server sitting immediately. Then
environment within an organization, allowing authorized users to save securely, transfer, and share all administrative passwords, such as staff, local administrators, and on-call administrators in isolated locations. A web interface, a Windows client, and a range of additional AP is introduced and maintain the PAS solution. Each part of the PAS solution determines the varied needs of privileged account security. The CyberArk Enterprise Password Vault, part of the CyberArk Privileged Account Security solution, is designed to detect, secure, control, and rotate passwords for sensitive accounts. In the company's information technology environment, they're used to accessing any system software. Let's know more about EPV. CyberArk EPV is a CyberArk privileged account security solution component utilized across all CyberArk solutions. It is designed to secure, find, regulate, and retrieve privileged account credentials used to access systems throughout the enterprise. The EPV is installed on a dedicated standalone server running Microsoft Windows Server 2008 or 2. This ensures that EPV material is kept as concealed and safe as possible. If the EPV production instances cease processing requests, a crash recovery instance of the EPV is utilized to replicate EPV data and rapidly identify failover. The Privileged Account Security Policy, or Master Policy TM, and controls that the digital vault uses to protect privileged credentials. Let's now discuss the features of CyberArk. Examining and reporting on IT audits. Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard Cloud and Virtualization Advanced Threat Protection Security Insider Threat Protection for Industrial Control Systems. Security for Remote Vendor Access. File Security for Confidential Information. Security in DevOps. Security in Windows. Security in Unix slash Linux. There are many CyberArk's benefits, let's discuss them. CyberArk ensures that your networks, accounts, passwords, and devices are secure. All methods of privileged lifecycle management are automated, and all operations are sped up. It eliminates the shroud of anonymity in sharing privileged accounts, ensuring responsibility. The module's adaptability and functionality are commendable, allowing customers to meet their granular audit standards. It's simple to build a corporate security strategy because of the flexibility. So, this is all about CyberArk training. I hope you have learned something from this video. Thank you for viewing this video. Don't forget to like share and subscribe.